Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and I know I haven't uploaded in a while but in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool number counter. Just for example, I'm going to make a variable called score and you can just see how ugly this score variable reporter looks. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make something look much nicer like this thing in the middle or in some of my best games. And if you really want to know how to make these number counters, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I guess we'll get on with the video. So I already made the score variable, so let's just get on with it. So we need to make a when green flag clicked, and make sure that your writing is at the front, and then put a new block, and let's call it setup. So whenever we need to restart, you can put the setup and make sure it's run without screen refresh. So let's put setup at the top and we can see that the setup could be used to reset some other stuff. So let's set the size to say 80, which seems pretty good in most of my games. Then put a hide block because this is one of those clone generators where you don't want the original sprite to be shown only the clones then switch costume to any of these and i'll show you what kind of costumes you need so you need every single number from one through nine with the zero as well and make sure that each of them is named exactly after what you've written in them so zero will have the costume name zero and five will have costume name of five so go back here and let's set the costume to 2, or something random, because we don't want it to be set to 0 at the very beginning. And then we also want to make another costume that's just a blank sprite, and make sure that goes at the very top. Okay, so let's get back. So we need to make a new variable called index for this sprite only to make sure that each clone has its own index and then set index to one and let's make this go to somewhere on the screen i'd say x0 y 125 which is near the top and good for most games then put a repeat loop and let's put say 30. the bigger the number the more digits you'll have in your number so if you set it to three, you can have a maximum of three digits in your number. So if your if your number counters is filling up the clones, then just reduce the number a bit. And put a create clone of myself, and then change x by size divided by two, which should be a nice spacing. And then finally, change index by one. So each clone is gonna have one index from one to 30. So if we start the project, you can see it says here clones 30, which is pretty cool. An index should be 31 at this point, as you can see in the variable reporters. So there's still more to do because you can't actually see anything. So put a when I start as a clone and don't forget to show them to make sure we can only see the clones. Then put a forever loop and a set X to Let's see, if you would like yours to be aligned, which is actually pretty cool, then put a times block and a divide block in the right input, then a 2 in the last, and size in the second to last. Then in the times part, then put a minus, and then put a minus in the minus, and then put 0 0.5 in the middle, index in the first, and then put a divide in the le in the rest and put a length of apple and change it to length of score divided by two so basically this just calculates how much the writing needs to be pushed sideways to make it look centered so you're taking the length of what you're of what you're making in the score and pushing it by half of that length and that makes it centered it's almost magic then make a new block called change costume to and then add an input costume run without screen refresh of course and then put a change costume to over here and in the define block put an if put if not 
costume from the my block is equal to costume name then switch costume to costume which seems pretty confusing but it works which i don't even know how it works but i tried a lot then put a letter one of apple in here and then make it letter index of score which means that each each clone will switch to its own id so the first clone will be say if your score is 13 the first clone will be one which is the letter one of score then the second one will be a three letter two of score so set the score to let's say 156 and run the project and you should see it does actually print out 156 but if you use the same size like i did then all you need to do is reduce this number the one when the size divided by two no, make it bigger so maybe seven looks nice but this is kind of too small so let's set the size to 200 press the green flag and you can see you have your very own number counter to make this to, to make sure that this is actually working pretty good put a forever loop round set score and change it to a change variable so let's say change score by one and you can see it is really smooth like this is amazing so instead of this score variable you now have this new variable to use in your games like clicker games or shooter games or anything really you can make really big numbers too depending on what how big this is you can handle up to 30 digits in mine look at this it's handling 200,000 and you can just see how smooth the numbers are so i hope you guys like this video and if you want to see more videos from my channel then don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one